I love building with thrusters, but the most annoying thing about them is when they run out of juice. So why not use a glitch to give them infinite fuel? Now, there are many reasons why this glitch is absolutely like game breaking. I mean, look at this. Okay, this thruster is a thruster that literally everyone can get. This thruster is a thruster that costs a lot of money. I mean, literally, you gotta spend at least 250 to even get your hands on one. But with this glitch, you can make these two thrusters right here perfectly identical. Like literally the exact same. Now, first things first, we're actually going to have to set up the ultimate testing station, okay? We got to make sure to do proper testing right here. All right, now this thing right here is a little bit of a seesaw. As you can see, it is very simple. It's just plastic blocks with a little hinge right here, so we can actually test which one of these pretty much pushes down harder. Now, obviously, when I do this test first off, you know, I've got a feeling one of them is going to win. I mean, yeah, it's clearly obvious this one right here is way more powerful. But what about if I use two of these and only one of those? Okay. Okay, come on! Wait, this one is already more powerful! Wait, I was I was expecting to need like 10 thrusters to make this like this one better, but dude! Okay, well, there you go. That is the main reason that that one tends to be better because it just simply lasts way longer. But the fact that we only need two of these regular thrusters to become more powerful than one of those is freaking crazy. All right then, so next up, let's actually combat the issue of, of which one just simply literally like goes for longer, which of course currently is this stinky boy right here. Oh my god, we got Minecraft Steve over here helping us with the testing. You want to help me test? Okay. Hi, you look like a smart fellow. You can do all the math. All right, now for the final blow, let's make sure that this side is simply way better, okay? That side right there has it pretty much two infinite thrusters, and that side has one measly little red thruster. Say goodbye to the title of best thruster, idiot. All right, now if we leave this going for a little while, you'll see that this side will simply, I mean, it will go forever, but that site will run out and literally already has less thrust. And also, can I just say, the particles coming out of this one, they're looking a little cooler. Like, they look pretty insane having extra force. There you go, it ran out! We have officially defeated the red thruster. But there's, of course, still many, many things that we can make with this boy right here. I mean, there's some experiments to be done. Now, the way you actually get an infinite thrust thruster, it's actually very, very simple. All you actually have to do is simply uh, place the thruster, which is unanchored. Very important. Now, this block right here is anchored. When I activate this, all I have to do is I simply have to clone it. And that thruster right there will literally fly forever. I mean, it's still going. Ah, uh, there she goes. Now, that right there is quite far away. <laughs> And yeah, you can actually do this thruster glitch with pretty much any one of these thrusters as well. So yeah, whichever thruster you want to use, you can make it go for infinitely long. Now, what if we can use that mechanic right there to create something like, I don't know, a flying car? Now, one of the things that is kind of difficult about doing something like that, I mean, how are you going to float? Now, what would happen if you, for example, grab three thrusters that are pointing upwards and two of them pointing down? Which way is this going to go? I mean, I think it's actually probably going to go up, um, but it's going to go up very, very slowly. Look at that. That is exactly what I was hoping to see. So what if we did that, but for a couple of different wheels? All right, there we go. Same arrangement. There we go. All right, select all. What I care. All right, we're going to have to try this out. Now, just so that we don't actually, you know, completely fly off to nowhere, I'm actually going to place uh, a little chair right here. So when we activate, okay, we are actually flying way faster than I would like to be flying right now. Yeah, this is way too freaking quick. All right, I'm going to add in like two thrusters, you know, pointing downwards right there. You know what? I'm going to add in a third. All right, there you go. That is more like the very slow flying I was looking for. I just forgot to place a pilot seat, so I literally can't fly it right now. All right, so we know the amount of thrusters we're going to need. We're going to need a lot of thrusters and only really one extra bit of force pointing upwards. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff right here because, dude, what are we going to do if we can't even control the direction we're going in? That would be, I mean, that would be stupid, but I got a way to fix it. We're going to need, we're going to need some of these. All right, so with four servos placed just like that. We're actually going to place an extra one right here in the middle. There you go. All right, so that right there is where the thrusters are going to end up. So first things first, we're going to place a pilot seat right here just so we can actually, you know, set up key binds and all of that sort of good stuff. And we're going to go ahead and actually place our thrusters now. So this thruster needs to be pointing the other way. And for every single one of these, we're going to need three thrusters pointing up and two pointing down. But we're going to 
and just simply, you know, actually merge these all into a single block. Just like that, you know, that way it is way easier to control. It also looks a thousand times better. There you go. That looks super weird, actually. Holy dude, that looks so strange. Actually, it kind of looks cool, though. That looks kind of amazing. Okay. All right, so we're going to place these right below here. So all I should have to do is clone these up to there. What did I do? Uh-oh. All right, there you go. We're going to move these five blocks down. There it is. And then right here at the bottom, we're going to place a little cross of these right here. Little hinges connected to a block. And yeah, we're going to need this thing for every single one of them. So we're going to just clone this around. There we go. We have this little setup now for every single one of our uh, servo things. We need a lever to activate everything. So we're going to place that right there. And actually, we have to disconnect these from it. And then when we place the pilot seat back, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we should only connect to the servos. Perfect. All right, I'm ready to do my very first test. So I actually ended up deleting one of the rows of like thrusters because I can just simply clone it from one side to another. Because the moment you actually have one of these thrusters cloned, I mean, pretty much the glitch works forever. So I'm actually going to go ahead and test it now. And I'm a little bit nervous because it is, uh, I have no idea if it's actually going to work. So we're going to simply activate and we're going to select everything right here. And we're going to simply, um, we're going to anchor it off uh, and then we're going to clone it. Okay. So three, two, one, activate, anchor, clone. Okay. Quick, 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 done. And now we have ourselves infinite thrusters in the perfect little array right here. Awesome. Okay. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move these. Actually, wait, we got to leak the stuff in the bottom. There you go. We're going to have to move these into the exact right spot. There you go. There you go. All right. There it is. Now I have these thrusters right here that are also pointing downwards. Um, I was thinking maybe I need these on top to, you know, perfectly balance things out. But for now, I'm actually not going to use them. I just want to see what happens when we pretty much go with thruster craziness. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. And I got we very slowly floated down. Wait, wait, we created an infinite thrust. No, we just made a thruster car. Wait, we actually did exactly what I was looking to do. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is working so good. Now look, the, the, the weight is pretty much perfectly balanced right now. So all I have to do is add a single thruster that points straight up to actually pretty much, you know, add the extra force we need. Pretty much, you know, go up in the air a little bit. But right now we are in like perfect equilibrium, dude. Are you kidding me? This is so easy to make. Oh my God, do we have a thruster? thruster car! And yeah, the thrusters are never gonna stop, which that sound is definitely gonna get annoying after a little while, but I mean, who cares, man, dude? Wait, wait, there's other people here doing stuff with thrusters? Oh, hi there. Let me just knock you forward a little bit. Dude, why would I ever use wheels again when I can just use this? Come on, man, this is way cooler. All right, now I do wanna add in, you know, the floating feature. Now, uh, okay, so before I was actually gonna add thrusters pointing down because I thought we were gonna have too much force, but I guess instead I'm gonna need thrusters pointing up. And actually, I think I all, all I need is like two thrusters I can activate. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. I cannot turn off the infinite thrusters. The infinite thrusters will go infinitely. Wait, there is an easier way to do this. Wait, there is an easier way to do this. All right, now I'm going to use star balloons just because I have them. But you can actually use, you know, any kind of balloon you want. I'm going to use some balloons right here. Two little pads of balloons should work. There you go. These are just straight up length. Oh, my God. Perfect. All right, get rid of the thrusters here. They're useless. Now, this might actually be too many balloons because, dude, yeah, when I activate these, these are pretty freaking huge. Actually, I already know this is going to be too much. I'm going to actually shrink these right now. Yeah, that's looking a little more like it. All right, let's get everything set up. All right, there we go. We got the thrusters. All right, there we go. All set up. Now, I think I can anchor this. Yeah, dude, look, it literally perfectly floats down. Oh my God, dude. I'm like, I'm like perfectly floating. Okay, activate the balloons. There we go. Dude, we are actually freaking flying now. Oh my God. Like we are perfectly floating right now. Holy dude. And we're flying to the end. Okay, wait, uh, I gotta let it, I gotta let it float up a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mayday, mayday, abort mission. We're taking damage. Okay, I would have needed ever so slightly bigger balloons, but I think I can still make it. Come on! Come on. Okay, I, I should have probably placed like, you know, one extra roll of balloons, but dude, we're. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost at the end. We freaking made it. Hey, wait, kill the balloons, kill the balloons. I just, just drive home. Just drive it home, baby. Just drive it home, baby. Let's go. We freaking made it. Now give me my money. Yeah, 